Welcome to Lynn's Kitchen. Having spent a few years in Thailand, my hubby and I just love Thai cuisine. Today, she's actually cooking up my favorite Thai dish, which in Thai is Gai Pat Saimet Mamong, or stir fried chicken with cashew nuts. Yum. I will explain the ingredients to you. So here we have fish sauce. You can never go anywhere without fish sauce in Thai food. A little bit of oyster sauce. We have sugar and then a capsicum, spring onion, garlic and shallots. And of course, the major, one of the major ingredients, cashew nuts and chicken. So there we go, we're ready to roll. First up, we're going to smash the garlic. It's easier to smash it than to peel it because it usually just peels straight out. And we'll cut up the shallots. Not too small. There we go. That's done. Then the capsicum. Probably in pieces about this size. Take that strip out if you like. I'll cut the spring onion now, even though we'll use it later, it's just easier to cut it now with all the other onion stuff. Throw that in with the, the stir fry and the, the thin green bits to go on the top for decoration. Now to make the sauce. We're about to use two tablespoons of this sauce. As I mentioned before, it's a staple ingredient. Two tablespoons, did I say two tablespoons? Two tablespoons. Staple ingredient of Thai food. Two tablespoons of oyster sauce. Gives it a nice flavor. For those of you who uh, don't can't eat a lot of salt, get the low salt varieties. That would be great. Then we have an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper. So here's my quarter teaspoon, so I only want a little bit. Gotcha. Two tablespoons of sugar. Here we go, we add that into the sauce. Then we just mix that up. So this is a really nice sweet and salty sauce. Makes the uh, dish, it has its signature flavour in this. Wonderful. Now we're about to cut the chicken. I'll just divide it up and then just cut it in very thin slices. I like to cut through the top of the breast, it's a chicken breast. Okay. And cut it in very thin slices, especially for a stir fry. So we go about this. In. Here we go, we just put in that oil, put it around the edges a little bit as well so that it doesn't stick, although this is a non stick. Put in the garlic. Spread the chicken out. If you're doing a double amount or you're doing a lot more than this, you might want to do the chicken, add the chicken in batch. I just sear the chicken and then I add the sauces. If you don't have to, you can put the sauces sauce in up all at once. to high to reduce the glaze. Just makes, instead of a heavy sauce, you've just got the flavours through. I wish you could smell it right now, it's amazing. Just reduce that to a glaze. Yes, the sauce is beautiful now. Let's reduce quite a bit. If it's too runny still when you have left it reducing for a while. You can add a little bit of water, no, not water, corn flour, just to thicken it up. But this is ready for the, I always throw the capsicum in there, as soon as that's been in for a bit. Let's put the cashews in. Now this is just enough for two people. Obviously if you're doing a big family, you would double the mixture, or one and a half the mixture. But it's a nice, easy recipe. Pretty much done. Dish it up and then you can have a look. Now it's 
ready to serve. Wonderful. Got some nice whole grain rice here that we cooked up. Jim likes it. Give him a lot. This is wonderfully tasty. Aroi Dina.